led better lessons. Okay, so the key space pressed um, block. So we used this previously in setting up our paddles for our Pong game. And we mentioned that if the key is pressed, the space key in this case, then we're going to return it true. So if we click this block, you click it, you see right now it says false. So since I'm not actually pressing the space key, this is what the value is. It returns a false. But now I'm going to hold down the space key on my keyboard and then now I'm going to click the block and you see how that returns a true now because my, my key is pressed. So that's what's great is that we can use that with our if statement that we had before and it evaluates our boolean of a true or a false. So uh, it's pretty cool. Now uh, you can basically just pick any key on your keyboard. Whoop, I just went crazy. Um, trying to scroll. Um, you can pick any of these different keys, but you can also have this one here where you can actually, is any key at all pressed on my keyboard, then it will run whatever, it will return a true. So in this case, I'm going to pull this out here. I'm going to hold down the R key and I click it and it says true because there was a key pressed. Now I'm not pressing any keys. I'm going to press it again and it returns a false. So that's basically how the, the key uh, pressed button or the key pressed uh, block works and you can pick all the way down numbers letters or the arrow keys you'd space key. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video